Hi doctors welcome back to the new episode of our A to Z series where in each episode alphabetically we discuss one of the most repeated previous year topic of INICET NEET PG and FMGE and today our episode is episode C where C stands for candidiasis so let's begin our today's discussion with solving this MCQ and our first question for today is an HIV positive patient presented with a whitish plague in the mouth and esophagus as shown in the image most likely diagnosis is option A oral leukoplakia option B hairy cell leukemia option C oral candidiasis or option D oral cancer well yes the correct option is option C oral candidiasis so now let's move ahead and talk about the key features of candidiasis candidiasis refers to the infection caused by candida albicans and candida glabrata the various kinds of candidiasis are first we have oral or oropharyngeal candidiasis next we have vaginal candidiasis vaginal candidiasis presents with thick white curdy vaginal discharge std and it is treated with fluconazole 150 mg one tablet stat next we have candidal peronychia this means candidal infection of the nail folds the next variant is candidal intertrigo it is a candida infection of intertrigenous areas like the groin axilla inframammary folds web spaces and etc infants have smaller necks so candida infections can appear on the necks as well the drug of choice is fluconazole oral candidiasis is among the most common pathological oral findings seen in individuals with hiv so come on let's solve the next mcq in line a man has undergone renal transplant and is taking immunosuppressant drug on biopsy there was presence of budding cells with pseudo hyphae identify this organism option a candida option b aspergillus option c pneumocystis gerovici or option d histoplasma capsulatum which option do you think is the correct one Well yes option A candida is the correct option Candidiasis also known as a yeast infection is a fungal infection caused by the overgrowth of candida species primarily candida albicans In candida the bud remains attached to the mother cell elongates and undergoes repeated budding to form the chains of elongated cells known as pseudo hyphae candida is a type of fungus that is commonly found on the skin mucous membrane and the gastrointestinal tract of the healthy individual however under certain conditions candida can multiply excessively leading to an infection Several factors can increase the risk of developing candidiasis including weakened immune system diabetes pregnancy prolonged antibiotic use use of corticosteroids or immunosuppressive medications and poor hygiene So here we have the next question the test is positive for identification of option A candida albicans option b candida glabrata option c candida parapsilosis option d candida tropicalis so which option do you think is the correct one well yes option a candida albicans is the correct option 
The given image shows the positive germ tube test, also known as Reynolds Broad Phenomena. The germ tube test is laboratory diagnosis test used to identify Candida albicans. This test is based on the ability of Candida albicans to produce germ tubes, which are elongated outgrowths from the yeast cell when mixed with human serum and incubated for 2 hours. Another species of Candida which shows a positive germ tube test is Candida dubliniensis. So here is the last question of this episode. What will be the diagnosis of the image provided? Option A. Candidal Peronychia Option B. Staphylococcus Scale Skin Syndrome Option C. Candidal Intertrigo Or Option D. Diabetic Foot Ulcer Which option do you think is the correct one? Well, yes, option C, Candidal Intertrigo, is the correct option. Let's discuss about the clinical features of Candidal Intertrigo. First, we observe redness and inflammation. There is presence of itching and discomfort. Maceration and breakdown of the skin is seen. The constant moisture and friction in the skin folds can lead to maceration. There is a presence of satellite lesions, smaller areas of infection that develop around the main affected site. These satellite lesions are typically small, red and may have a scaly appearance. There is also a presence of malodor, unpleasant odor due to the overgrowth of yeast in the affected areas. So what is the treatment of Candida intertrigo? Antifungal medications are commonly used for the treatment of Candida intertrigo. And we must remember that we should keep the affected area clean and dry. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in my next episode which will be episode D. And please subscribe to my channel.